Hello, everybody, and welcome to the replay. Come on in and say hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. <sighs> Technically, it is my Friday. Is that too bright here? We'll see. Technically, it is. Hey, Sherry. How you doing? Yes, today was my last day of my work stretch. And I'm tired, but I thought we should do a project together. I let everybody do a poll that said what kind of project they would like. And there was some bedroom, there was some family room, mostly was bathroom, which I was a little surprised about. Um, now my bathrooms are all decorated different. I have one that is a beachy theme because it's um, our guest bath on the first floor and it's near our saltwater tank. So I kind of carried that theme over um, to that room. So I thought about, ooh, maybe I can do a beachy one for that. Then my master bathroom is completely undecorated. It's crazy because we spent a lot of money in there doing special tile and blah, blah, blah. And it's not decorated. The walls aren't painted. I don't even think I did the outlet covers. I think it might be the only room left in the house that does not have like a designer outlet cover. And then my um, son's bathroom is Star Wars, but we're phasing it out. So, I don't know if you guys remember these. We made these on another live. We have the wash your hands. Comb your hair. These are all on glass and they were inked, not chalked, so that you could actually bake the glass part of the frames. Soak, relax, unwind. And um, this will be permanent. You don't have to worry if there's like any splash from the bath or from the shower. And then there was the brush your teeth. And they're all in these cute frames. But let me show you guys what this one actually looks like. This is what the transfer looks like. Oh, and the website is up there. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and order yourself. It's called bathroom etiquette. Um, isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah. So um, I thought we would do a different version of that because we really don't have a lot of bathroom transfers, but if you have a theme going on in your bathroom, for example, um, with my beachy bathroom, I can do, oh, that glare. Um, seahorses and seashells and life's a beach would go perfect in my guest bathroom. Um, this is bright. This is bright. Let me see if I can fix that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my surface area here. Look at this. So I have there's no way to show you the whole board without making myself look like I am. This is our Aiden. Isn't it gorgeous? This is, hey Brenda, this is our 9 by 12 um, steel magnetic Aiden board. Favorite, favorite, favorite. This comes with our designer kit. This also comes with our kickstart kit. Um, which I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you already know or you don't know, Chalk um, Couture has a Club Couture. And let me see. When you sign up for Club Couture, oh, did I take a picture of it here? Here we go. Oop, that's not what I wanted. That's little up there. 
I'm going to make it big up there. Hold on. So Club Couture is a club program to where each month you're billed on the fifth of the month and you get the exclusive um, silk screen transfer and you get three coordinating chalk paste, all for $19.99. These are transfers that you cannot purchase online. You can only get it if you're in the club. And then you do have the opportunity to buy the previous month's club. So this Aiden board is in the Kickstart that you can purchase. It's optional. It is not required. And the Kickstart is $69.99, and it comes with this Eden board, which already retails at um, $40. It comes with two board erasers, a full-size can of white chalk paste, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and a board and base. Isn't that awesome? Um, let's see here. So that is that. Last month's was a transfer where you could do Sweet Spring. And I put it on the 10 inch round, which is amazing because in the month of May, starting on May the 6th, if you are in the Club Couture, you can purchase the 10 inch round, which is double sided and comes with hanging twine for just um, $6.99. That's an amazing deal. They also have a special that you can choose from some of our retired old exclusive transfers and get them at 30% off. One of them is this one. Um, it has some of the national anthem on it, which I love. I love that star. And then one of them is this, The Adventure Begins, which I absolutely love. Um, I don't even have that one, do I? I don't know if I do. One of them is perfect for Father's Day. It is best dad ever. Look at the mustache and the video game controller. So these are all ones that if you're in the club, you can get at 30% off. And you're not billed for the club until the, um, <laughs> I know Brenda, it's amazing. Um, this Be Brilliant, which I've done in videos before because I love this one. And it's actually picked quite often in my workshops. So those are all ones. Now who, let me see. <laughs> who wants to see a sneak peek of May? Anybody want to see May? Because I'm willing to, I've never done this before. I've never shared May before the new month. I usually wait till May 1st. I wait because, you know, people are getting it in the mail and I don't want to spoil their surprise because it is fun mail. Because when you sign up, you're not billed until the 5th of the following month. You can add on the Kickstart. Um, you don't have to. I do too, Tracy. And, um... You can kind of pick what you um, like there, but who wants to see May? I want to know if it, I'm just wondering if anybody. I want to see hearts and thumbs up if you want to see May, because I have a picture here of May. <laughs> Brenda wants to see. Sherry wants to see. Deborah wants to see. Deborah, thank you again for your huge online order. <laughs> I am behind and counting up. Your, I'm sure you're due for a free transfer, girl. Um, but thank you very much, Deborah, and your Club Couture gift. So all of my Club Couture members for April got a, um, lottery scratch-off ticket that you could win like $50,000. So if you win, buy something from me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So I'm going to show you May. Are you ready? Oh, I see a lot of hearts. I see some faces. I see thumbs up. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think? This is the new May Club Couture reusable silk screen transfer that is exclusive to Club Couture members. The only way you can get this is by joining the club. <laughs> Again, there's only a three month commitment. You only get paid, um, paid, you only get billed for each month. And it's $19.99, you get free shipping. And I love this. I love it. I love the sunglasses. I'm not a pinky person, as you know, but what I do, look at all those thumbs up and hearts. I love the words, hello summer. I think that's the cutest font. 
and I'm gonna have to put this on my mantle somewhere. You guys are gonna be helping me. Um, <laughs> I love it too, Tracy. <laughs> so that is that. <laughs> I don't know what got into me. I normally don't share it. I love it too, Brenda. It is amazing. And I love, number one, that it's a layer transfer. So um, you can practice your layering techniques. And I love that you can mix and match. You can use the words with other things. I am loving this. <laughs> I am loving this. So what we have, like I said, is our kickstart board. Let me see. This is our Aiden. This is top of the line. This is one of our designer boards. Um, like I said, it is magnetic. It comes in two other sizes. This is our nine by 12. It is a perfect font. Um, starter pack, Brenda. Do you mean like a designer? Like a designer? We do have, um, let me see if I can show you. If you wanted to sign up to be a designer so that you can kind of be on my team. Do, do, do. Let me show you a picture. This is our designer kit. And it comes with that 10 inch round. It comes with this board. It comes with eight different transfers, five different full size chalk paste, um, a catalog, squeegee, all your business materials. This is only $99 and it is over $240 worth of product. And not only that, but when you have a designer ship, you get 40% off of all of your orders, if that's what you're asking. Um, if you're asking about this, this is the Kickstart pack that is optional that you can get with your Club Couture. And it comes with um, this board, which retails for $40 two board erasers, the reversible double-sided um, board and base, a full-size jar of white chalk paste, a small squeegee, and a multi-tool. And that's for $69.99, which is completely optional. You can join the club and not, not get that. Okay. So, I had a, a plan for tonight. <laughs> Imagine that. I had a plan for tonight and it didn't happen. Wah, wah, wah. I was very excited to use one of my brand new shadow boxes and I was gonna do it bathroom and um, <laughs> and um, it didn't happen tonight because it was my last day of my seven days and I just wanted to come home. So I didn't stop at the store, I did not get it. So. Out of all of those ones that I showed you earlier, with um, Sweet Brenda, um, from the transfer I showed you guys, let me put it up in the box up here and you can see the bathroom etiquette. Dun, dun, dun. See the bathroom etiquette up there? It has um, the relax and soak, comb your hair, brush your teeth, wash your hands. So the um, thing that my son has the hardest time with now I mean, he's going to be nine, so I should be happy. He can, he washes his hands every time. I don't know if it's because I'm a nurse practitioner or what it is, but he has started to wash his hands all the time, and he takes his bath fine, and he brushes his teeth. He just got an expander on Friday, so he brushes his teeth, but combing his hair, I just, I don't know if it's because I'm not home every other week, and I don't comb it. He doesn't comb it. Nobody combs it. He looks a hot mess. <laughs> so... He used to have a shadow box hanging in his bathroom and I put a pirate ship in it because he had a pirate bathroom when he was two years old and it had floss and a toothbrush and everything in the shadow box and um, oh my God, this light is bothering me and um, now that he's outgrown pirates and we're on to Star Wars, that's a little better, right? Um, we're going to focus on combing his hair. Now, this is on a wall that is probably not high risk for, <laughs> oh, my son will be nine in July. Um, and, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> um, mm, what was I saying? Now, if you have something less chalk couture, let me get one of these. Now, you know that the chalk goes on as, oh, 
that's funny, Tracy. <laughs> you made him cut his hair. Um, so it goes on like a wet paint, but look at this. It does not smudge and smear. It dries like a matte chalk, and I cannot wipe it off. If I want it to come off, I need to wash it off. So um, this is going to be hanging actually above the toilet um, <laughs> where I thought I was going to do wash your hands, but he has proven that every single time, even if I'm not watching, he always washes his hand, but his hair and the, the poor kid, let me tell you, he, my son is adorable. He is adorable, but he has like two or three different cowlicks in the back of his head. So he'll never have a good hair day. Like unless we shave his head. He's never going to have a good hair day, <laughs> but we're going to try. So what I want to do is I want to make a cute little design that will hang there. It must be the age, um, so that he'll see it when he is doing his business in the morning and he'll be like, Oh, I need to comb my hair. So what I thought I'd use a nice Aiden board. It is one of my favorite boards. I have never hung it anywhere because I just like to look at it. Oh, wow. Tracy, how long was his hair? Did he have curls? Ugh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I am going to put um, the comb your hair, and then what I thought would be cute is to kind of put a bunch of combs on our picture. Um, now, what I really wanted to do was a shadow box and fill it with combs, but I did not get there. <laughs> so what do we do? We have our fuzzing cloth, and what we wanna do first is we wanna fuzz our transfer. Um, Brenda, if you're new, all that means is we're gonna take a clean cloth or our fuzzing cloth, and we're gonna pick up some lint from the back. What this does is it, um, <laughs> they sound so alike, Tracy. Um, we wanna pick up lint so that it's not as sticky, especially if it's brand new, it's gonna be super sticky. This one has been used probably over 10 times. And um, you don't want it to stretch when you pull it off of your surface because our transfers are reusable. You wanna keep their life long and um, it is a textile, so it's a fabric and it can stretch. So we're gonna center this on our board. I figured we'd do this part first. And then we're gonna smooth it down so that um, there's no air bubbles because bubble is trouble. And then I have picked this morning sky. I think this will look great in his bathroom because right now his bathroom is painter's white still after years and years of living here. <laughs> um, I have to redo his whole entire bathroom. Um, he has no paint on the walls. Oh no, look what I did. Um, he has no paint on his walls. We gotta do this fast. So I'll show you in the next go round, but you wanna make sure your chalk paste is the consistency of Greek yogurt or sour cream, okay? And then we're gonna just stir that up and then we're gonna take a little and we're just gonna put it on our board. I'm gonna take one of our mini squeegees and then we are just going to spread this chalk paste over that. Any excess we have is going back in the jar. Just like this. Mm -hmm. See one little spot there that needs a little help. You only want a thin layer, don't go thick. If you go thick, it's not gonna lay right. And then especially if you're layering, if you go too thick, it's gonna peel up. Mm. There was a little part in there I was concerned about because it had like orange on it and I think whoever used the transfer last, it didn't get washed completely because it was probably at a home party. Um, and then you wanna grab our transfer from one side and then we're just gonna peel and reveal. Let me try to take this out of the glare so you guys can see. Look how perfect that is. Comb your hair. No, just long. Started with a six inch mohawk. Oh my gosh, Ezra started flag football yesterday and there's the cutest little kid with a mohawk. We let him keep it and then just let her. <laughs> can you take the board out of the frame? Yes, you can, Deborah. Um, you can have some look there. Yeah, I was going to do halfway, but I kind of cheat. I don't take this out of the um, board. I'll show you what I do. <laughs> it's probably the lazy way. But first, I'm going to just dry this a little bit. 
I'll show you my lazy way. Run it dry. Okay, so the back of this board has all of those little metal prongs that you can take off and take it out. And there's a magnetic layer and then there's our chalk layer. I don't know if you guys know, but if you have a designer kit or if you have the Club Couture kit, the surface on this board, they guarantee for 50 years, five, zero, 50 years. So if anything happens to your board, um, they will replace it for up to 50 years. Um, not the frame though. If the frame gets damaged, it only is good. For, I think it's 60 days. They'll replace it if your frame gets damaged, but your board is 50 years, which is crazy because I don't even know if I'll be around for 50 more years. So make sure that's dry and I'm going to take my comb. Now I'm going to do some combs in bright white and I'm going to do some in this ocean mist. I just think that both of those are going to look great in his bathroom and we'll start at the top I guess I'll have the teeth go this way and what I'll do is I like to start off of the board is this what you meant Deborah and I'll just go like this like this and then I want to make sure that my chalk pastes are the right consistency so this is my ocean mist which is not if your chalk paste is any thicker than sour cream or Greek yogurt, you want to take your distilled water and you want to give it some squirts and then you want to stir it up. You definitely want to make sure it's the right consistency. Um, I would say 90% of people that can't get their projects exactly the way they want them, they haven't mastered the consistency. And especially if it's cold, like I'm down in the basement, cold can really thicken it up. You just want to make sure there's always some moisture in there. If you happen to thin it too much, then just open the lid and let it set out until some of that moisture absorbs. Let's see how our white is. That one's still a little chunky. You don't want to stir it too fast because you might get air bubbles in there. And the only problem with air bubbles is that after you're done with your project, the air bubbles can pop and then leave a um, little blank space on your board, which you don't want. I really love this ocean mist, though. Now, I'm going to use the same comb, and as long as you're using the same color, you can get a few on at a time before you have to wash it but this is good because I'm going to show you guys how to wash your transfer quickly to reuse it for the next layer okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take another mini squeegee I'm going to dip it right into the jar and then I am going to just go right to the edge and if you get any chalk paste on your frame, it's okay. It's not going to stain. It's water soluble. You can wipe it right off, which I love. There's such a glare. I can't see if I'm missing any spaces. So we're going to get this comb just like this. I think we got all of it. I should have looked at your video instead of mine because all I see is a glare. <laughs> And then we're going to peel it this way. And then we have part of a comb there. Doo, doo, doo. I'm going to dry this. rotate them so I'm going to pretend like I'm putting one there and then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to come here oh I didn't mean to do that 
I was trying to see how far away I was. This is why I like chalkboards, because if you make any boo-boos, you just wash it off with water and then keep going. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be a little crazy. So we're just going to come down this way. I'm going to come this way. This one I'm gonna just gonna put like this. Smooth it out. I do want a bigger squeegee though. So I'm gonna take this color and then we're gonna go this way. He's been kind of on point lately. Um, it was just last week I was telling him he needed to learn how to tie his shoes. And he's never shown any interest in it. He's been wearing Velcro since forever. And all of a sudden we sat down and now he double knots his shoes and ties them everywhere he goes. We have another comb there. Now, I have... A little water bath here which I'm gonna try and hope I don't spill it everywhere mm -hmm. thanks Deborah if you have any parts on the end it's good to keep some q-tips but if you have any part you can just scrape off that chalk Okay, so what do I have here? I have one of our board erasers, and over here I have the transfer. And the bucket of water, I am just going to wipe off that chalk paste that's on there. And you can use a towel or a fuzzing cloth. I'm gonna open my fuzzing cloth and I'm gonna use the soft side. Now there's a coarse side and there's a soft side. The coarse side is for fuzzing. The soft side is to get off smudges or I like to use it for drying. So it's on the inside and I'm just drying it here. Do, do, do. I asked him what color he wanted this because I showed him what I was gonna do and he said pink and purple, um, <laughs> which is so like him because he had his first flag football practice yesterday and he wore pink cleats. <laughs> my screen over there is frozen am I frozen for you guys? I hope not alright so that looks dry let me just hit it again now if I was doing the combs and they weren't touching at all I could have went boom 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 and done a bunch but these kind of overlap so, move this down, and I'm going to flip the comb and go the other way. Just want to make sure I have the right height. We'll go this way. How does that look? Looks very unstraight to me. <laughs> now, this transfer I can tell is kind of losing a stickiness because like I said he's been used over and over and over so what I'm going to do is after I wash it after this use um thanks Tracy I will hit it with a disinfectant wipe like Clorox and it will reactivate that sticky some people use them after every single use I haven't felt the need because mine are pretty sticky and you want to wash your transfer with cold water Make sure there's no air bubbles in there because sometimes if your water's too hot you can take off some of that adhesive also and this time I'm going to use my angled squeegee hey Courtney and we are going to you guys should feel very happy because I was so excited for the Vanderpump Rules finale season finale but I missed you guys because I've been at work and I haven't done any lives over the weekend, I don't think. Maybe I did one Friday, I don't remember. So I chose you over Jax. Let's see. 
Jackson isn't even my favorite character. I don't even know why I picked him. Um, okay, so we have that. The ankle squeegee has so many different sides and angles. It's a lot of fun. And we're going to pull this comb off. Dun, da, da, da. And then I'm just going to bring it down the bottom. I can feel that it's not as sticky as it once was. There we go. How you doing, Courtney? And I'm going to put some chalk paste down. Remember, any excess you have on your squeegee, put that right back into the jar because you can use it for another project. Don't waste it. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to just go like this. Mm -hmm. I thought about doing the vintage truck with toothbrushes in the back of it, but I thought we would just do this one. Here we go. Oh, you can't see it? Thanks, Courtney. Let me um, move it up. My little comb. Can you see that one? Now, any of these little spaces here... that have that. Normally I would use a Q-tip, but I don't see my Q-tips. But we can just get right in there to the edge and fix it up. A lot of that is because I'm just talking too much and didn't realize it wasn't all the way down on the board. There we go. And then I'm going to, can you see it now, Stacy? Sorry guys, thanks for letting me know. I'm just gonna do the same process again because I'm gonna move back to the ocean mist. So I'm going to, let me turn this light off. Maybe then you can see better. I may not be able to see, but is that better? Let's see. I'm just using my board eraser and I'm washing off the transfer. And I'm sticking it in my I'm sticking it in my um, what you call it my fuzzing cloth to dry there we go can you guys see it better now Dry it a little bit. I am good, Courtney. I just finished my work week, which means I have um, seven days off, and I'm super excited because you guys are going to help me um, design my home decor in my family room this week. I'm super excited about it. Let me move this down so I can now get here. Let me see how the height looks. And this one's gonna go off the board as well. Mm. You guys, I'm, I should have made a disclaimer on here so you guys know not to expect anything to be completely straight because I can't. <laughs> we do have um, our precision tape, which is like a washi tape where you can measure, but I don't do that either. <laughs> All right. So... Now we're going to hop back over to that ocean mist. I left the lid open, so we want to make sure. Courtney, I work um, 11 and 12 hour shifts. Um, 
seven days straight, and then I have seven days off. There we go. And tomorrow will be day one off. Yay! So I'm going to dip this. Oh, it's so dark in here for me. Can you guys see okay now? And then I'm going to go like this. Just gonna go all the way across here and here. I think he's gonna love this in his bathroom. Okay, and we're just going to peel and reveal. Ta-da! <laughs> What's annoying? Me? <laughs> Am I being annoying? Remove the water. And then we are going to go here. Right here. Yeah, if something is completely straight, you might as well just bet that I didn't actually make it myself and I just bought it somewhere. <laughs> and that goes with my scrapbooking and my vinyling. And if you guys get my birthday cards in the mail, don't expect anything to be straight. Have no expectations for me, please. <laughs> Tracy, I'm a nurse practitioner in the critical care unit. Um, now we're going to go this way. Do, do, do. Okay. That kind of job can be very stressful so it's good to have an outlet whoop jeez phew good to have an outlet so I like crafting that's my outlet there we go now I dropped it on here so I'm just gonna fix some of this let me kind of go like that Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, those hours can be long and they can be hard, but I guess they've shown that there's continuity of care so that um, you get to really know your patients and you can kind of spot if anything's going wrong. So, it works out and it's nice to have the next seven days off, so I'm not complaining. Sometimes day four or five, though, you're just like, oh. One more day to go in again. I have to do this again. <laughs> but when you love your job and the career that you have, it's all good. They say if you love your job, you never work a day in your life, right? Look. Actually, next week, is it next week? I think it's going to be Nurses Week. So I'm going to have to do something for the nurses. Probably make them some cookies. Um, I'm a CRCST. Yeah, you told me about that. That is really cool, Tracy. Really cool. All right, so now I think we'll do some more combs on here. What do you guys think so far of this comb your hair? I'm really digging the colors. Um, where did you go to nursing school? Let's see. Um, in 98, is it 98? I went to a community college in Anne Arundel County in Maryland. I got my nursing license. And then in 2008, I went back to school for my bachelor's in nursing. And, um, God, that was a long time ago. It's funny, I was in a cohort. I was an agency nurse. And the hospital I worked at at the time, because I'd worked there for so long, um, allowed me to get in a cohort with their nurses, even though I didn't work with them. 
and do a Towson University cohort at the hospital. So I started this cohort. Um, let me give myself some light now. <laughs> I started this cohort and it turned out that out of everybody that started, I was the only one that actually finished. Is that crazy? So I finished that program and um, went back to back from my bachelor's to get my master's because I knew I wanted to be an acute care nurse practitioner. And crazy enough, I got pregnant during, oh, thanks for making me feel old, Courtney. I um, became pregnant during grad school and had Ezra during grad school, crazy enough. Um, I think he was one years old when I graduated. Um, but we had to go to campus. So I was like nine months pregnant, working full time and traveling to Philadelphia for grad school. I remember falling flat on my face on the street coming off of the subway and it was hot in the summer and I was like two tons walking around with swollen feet with my son in my belly. <laughs> and then even after he was born, I think I was a hot mess. So I never got any milk ever. So I couldn't breastfeed, which was kind of a blessing at the time. <laughs> but um, we had to do a residency week at school. And he was four, four weeks old. Four weeks or four months I think he was four weeks old and my sister-in-law came with me and stayed with me in a hotel so I could finish the class and he was there and I would have to leave class go feed him go see him and then go right back to class it was very unreal Let's see, is that too close let's see I'm talking too much and not paying attention all right so I'm just gonna go Like I said, I don't know how to space things well, but we're gonna go right here. <clears throat> so it was crazy because I did go back to back to school, ended up getting my nurse practitioner, and I started at the University of Maryland in the transplant team. So we did kidney, liver, and pancreas transplants. It was amazing. Um, but now I am, I've had a lot of jobs over the years and um, I think I finally found my home. There we go. Hi. Comb hair. One more washing. What do you guys think so far? So if you voted for bathroom on the poll, you have to tell me what kind of bathroom decor you have, then we can kind of see what would look best in your bathroom. Um, Courtney, I graduated high school in 95. <laughs> yep. But it's okay. What you're really supposed to say is, oh my God, you don't look a day over 25. <laughs> I feel like that light. My goal for 2019 will be lighting. I don't know when or how, but. I know, Courtney. <laughs> when I went back to school, um, I was doing the craziest shifts. I was an ER nurse, and I worked 3 o'clock in the afternoon until 3 o'clock in the morning, um, three times a week, and that's how I fit in my school and everything is because I was working that crazy hour, and I didn't live that far away from where I worked, but I'll never forget how tired I was and... Um, falling asleep and driving into someone's front yard. Thankfully, I didn't kill anybody. Um, 
but it was rough. And uh, nowadays I can't even like get all my laundry done. But back then I was working full time, going to school, had a newborn, cooking dinner, doing the laundry. Um, insane. I don't, and now I can't even get it together enough to <laughs> do anything right. I guess if you want to do it, you do it. And now I'm too old to care. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. Jeez. You want to make me sad tonight. Okay, now we're going to put this last one here. I've always had just a crazy, crazy, um, ambitious personality. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, that's hard because... Perhaps too, I could not do that. I, hey, Erin. Erin, I was just thinking about you because there was a package that's been sitting on this table that's going to you, and everyone else's has gone out, but for some reason, yours is sitting here. Ugh. I, now that I'm off of work for the next seven days, I will make sure that that gets, there's like a chunk in there, that that gets to you. Promise. Promise, promise. It was one of the, um, masks that you won that's still sitting here and it's Easter themed <laughs> how embarrassing I'm sorry so we have another comb here we're almost done guys dun 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 And then let's do another comb right here. How's that spacing? Here. I'm so excited to watch. Does anybody here watch Vanderpump Rules? Am I the only one that has that guilty pleasure too? <laughs> Oh, Aaron. I was an ER nurse for over 10 years, Aaron. I love the ER. I'm very high energy, as you guys can see, and I have a lot of energy, and I just loved helping people at the worst times of their lives. Um, some people really love maternity because it's the happiest. I really wanted emergencies and got really good at it, actually. I'm really shocked I'm not working in an emergency room now. But when they first started um, doing acute care, nurse practitioners, they didn't have the role in the ER that I wanted. I wanted the sickest of the sick, and they really did not let the nurse practitioners do that. You'll learn that when you learn all about the ESI scores in the ER. They would only let us do ESIs of like threes and fours, and I wanted twos. Life is short. Time is gonna pass anyway. If there's something that you want to do, do it. Even if you don't know if you're going to succeed, it doesn't matter. Because the time's going to pass anyway. <laughs> don't ever say you're too old or you're too young or you don't have time. Time is all we have. And everybody has 24 hours and just make the most out of it. Right? Okay. Bum, bum, bum. What do you guys think of this? Starting college early. Oh, you're an overachiever too. Oh, Courtney. Nikki was not my thing, but lots of those that like that. I was a Nikki baby, actually. Okay. So, 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 so. Let me show you guys what we have here. If I can figure this out because I'm in the dark and my glasses are over there. You ready to see this? Dun, dun, dun. What do you guys think of my comb your hair? <laughs> now I hope I get a whole bunch. I, you guys are like knowing my whole entire life story from all of these lives. <laughs> 
heard some of it. I do have some interesting stories, yeah. But what do you think of this? I'm going to hold it up here. <laughs> I love it. I'll take a picture of it on his wall, but don't judge. His wall's not painted. <laughs> but Aaron, yes, you're starting early. You can do anything you want to do. Anything. I firmly believe that. Um, I guess my little tidbit, my little advice, <laughs> since you guys have me talking like an old lady on here, and I'm obviously older than all of you, <laughs> is... You'll probably hear the saying, which is my least favorite saying. I'm gonna wash all this stuff here. And they say, um, it is what it is, is what they say. And I say, BS. And I'm known to drop the F-bomb, but that is BS. Um, it, it's not, it is what it is. It is what you make it. So if you have your own goals and you know what you want, and you're, you know, if it's not like, oh, I can't do that just because it is what it is. No, 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 no. Um, I don't have my blog anymore. I used to do a writing blog. Um, but it totally is what you make it. And if you're ever unhappy, change it. <laughs> right? Good night, Courtney. Thank you guys so much for helping me design this. And, um... I'm so excited for this week now that I'm off because we are going to decorate my family room. Have a good night.